A long group of athletes that uh, cherish a very strong wind, and particularly a wind into their faces, are the javelin throwers. And uh, Tessa Sanderson, whose uh, recent form leads us to believe that she could be a threat of some sort for a medal in the World Championships in Helsinki later, about to make her first throw. She will, of course, be throwing in the knowledge that uh, just this last week, Tina Lilak of Finland broke the world record with 74 metres and 76. But she will also remember that her last major competition against the Soviet Union, uh, in that competition she achieved 70 metres and 82. The first British girl over 70 metres, and that's a nice opening throw indeed, and that's over, so that's way over 70 metres. Certainly looking at, well, looking at the lines, the markings, we're not sure, but it looks to be over 70 metres. And uh, Tessa has opened up with a very, very big throw indeed. And looking down, the marking clearly says 70 metres, and it is the red line which is associated with the uh, javelin competition. There it is, on the left of shot. And the javelin went way, way over that, and we shall need confirmation though. But Tessa unleashed a mighty throw into this headwind. It was a low flight, which is right, and uh, Tessa Sanderson, very, very confident, very relaxed, very fast, moves ahead of the throwing arm, and look at that base from which she threw, and that's a very long way indeed, and if those lines are right, then the world record could really be very much in danger. One point to make, Stuart, of course, is that the wind doesn't affect that. That's a valid throw of 73 metres and 58 centimetres. 73 metres and 58, and that is a magnificent throw. A new British all-comers record for Tessa Sanderson. And uh, so close to the world record. It's the third best throw ever. And uh, that is marvellous. I'll be back.